Y'all vax for it. We're delivering. We're going to do our top eight quarterbacks in the NFL so far. I'm going to get it started with my list. Should we go back to front or front to back? Back to front. Back to front. So start at eight. Start at eight. Number eight, CJ Stroud. Hmm. I know. I know. But hmm. first of all, I don't think there's a lot of great quarterback play this season, to be honest with you. There just hasn't been so far. CJ's been playing well. It came down to CJ or Baker Mayfield. And my tiebreaker is who would I rather have? I'd rather have CJ Stroud. That's the ride I'd rather be on. It's the CJ Stroud ride than the Baker Mayfield ride. Maybe because I've been on that ride before, but I'd rather be on the CJ. Baker's playing well, though. Shout out to him. He had a good game last night. Brock Purdy, seven. Okay. Playing well, not fucking up. That's good. Jalen Hurts, six. Only here on GP. Like, GP, and he had a couple good games the last couple weeks. But boy, them first two games was concerning with Jalen. Justin Herbert, see, y'all get me wrong. I think Carl Towns is a good basketball player. I just think he's hilarious. <laughs> like, I just think it's clear. It's hilarious, right? Justin Herbert is a good football player, a legitimately really good football player. His career is just hilarious. Like, it's not his fault. Sometimes. Justin Herbert there. Number four, I ain't off two or nine yet. You know what I mean? I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a let y'all live one bad game. One bad game. You know, you just use all your points beating the Broncos. So, you know, a little bit of a letdown against the Bills. Number three, Lamar Jackson. Number two, Josh Allen. Okay. Number one, Pat Mahomes. Off the list is whatever this version of Joe Burrow is. <laughs> The advanced stats are not are not kind to Joe right now. The, the stats, stats are, are not kind to Joe. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't even need to look at the advanced ones. The regular the, stats ain't good. Man, the advanced stats, he was behind Kenny Pickett. I was like, oof, oof. <laughs> they're, they're bad. They're he's bad, bad right now. He's, he's, he's bad. bad. And it's not he's bad. Let me rephrase that. You're right. He's bad right now. He's bad. He might not and be look, right. Let's be fair. He, the injury, all that good stuff. It don't yeah. matter. He's out there. He's bad, man. We look, look. We when we talk about Big Ben looking cooked, we didn't go. Well, you know, that's not the usual Ben. The usual, like, no, no, no. What you are when you're out there is what you are. And Joe Burrow has been awful. You could blame it on the calf. You could blame it on this. You could blame it on that. That's cool. But if we're evaluating. What he's done in four games, it's been awful. It's I, I can't even justify putting him in the top eight. I really can't. You can't. I, I can't justify. And I think Joe Burrow is usually the second best quarterback in the NFL. I cannot justify. Got me out here putting Josh Allen there too. I don't want to do that. <laughs> hey, Josh, Josh, been, hey, Josh been balling. Be, Josh be been real. balling though. Be honest. Be honest. He been balling. Yeah, but he always balled at the beginning of the season. You know, that just game was – that just defense is real. Let's be real. That just defense is real. He struggled. Pat yeah. just struggled. Pat just struggled against him. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Man, you know what? We did the – you know what? We did the winners and losers. We we probably should have said something about Zach Wilson. I thought he played well. I thought he had a good game. I mean, like, are we really going to put him in winners because he – like, is that how low we are on Zach Wilson? Yes, yes, that is how low we are on Zach Wilson, actually. <laughs> that we yeah. out here giving him an attaboy? <laughs> yeah, he, he needs that, man. That was a big that Because was a big he game, didn't man. look objectively terrible? Like, <laughs> Be real, he played better than Pat. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't look, go man. that far. Look, man, Pat was bad. Pat was bad. Cole, Cole, look me in the eye. Look me in the eye right now. If Zach would have got that last possession in that game, you think it ends like it ended with Pat? Nah. Okay. All right. <laughs> so we done being delusional. We, we done being hey, You hey, sipping on that same juice Chris Collinsworth was on. <laughs> listen, listen. Let's be honest, though. That last drive, that last drive, Pat got a lot of help that last drive. <laughs> there was a holding call, but hey. <laughs> That's gonna happen, dog. That's Pat Mahomes. Hey, Taylor Swift was there. It is what it is. 
charge that. It wasn't Taylor. It was. See, look, we we blaming this on Taylor. It wasn't Taylor that got that call. Pat Mahomes always gets some bullshit like that because he's Pat. Yeah, Mike got that bullshit all the time. Tom got that bullshit all the time. Look, you stop Pat Mahomes. The assumption is that you definitely cheated. Like that's the thing. <laughs> so they just threw the flag. That's like if Jordan missed a layup. We blowing the whistle just because because something happened, right? Brando like, don't get, get them calls, but that's not even here nor there. He don't get them calls no more. But if, that's fine. That's fine. Not no more. Yeah, but 2018 Brown was getting all the calls. Okay, like <laughs> when Brown was Brown, yeah, he was getting all them calls. Heat Brown, this- tell me about a tell me about a foul call Heat Brown didn't get. I'm not gonna turn this into a league <laughs> discussion because we talk about quarterbacks. We, we, yeah, we try, to, look, we try look. to stay all time. LeBron, they keep switching his number. Yeah, that Bron ain't getting no calls. You know, he, he gonna should. get treated like like a regular good be. player. He should be getting no calls, but that's neither here nor there. A ref just yeah. got fired because he, because Bron <laughs> wouldn't get no calls. Let's talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> but he right. Bron, he Bron didn't have that problem because he Bron was different. If Bron didn't duck it, somebody fouled him. And sometimes, even if he did duck it, somebody fouled him. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me let me get to this top eight real quick. Let me get to this top eight real quick. Number eight, Brock Purdy. Mm. Best job, best job in the NFL. I think we had the same exact people, with just different order. Different order, different order. Brock Purdy got the best job in the NFL. Get the ball out on time. You ain't got to throw it down the field that much. Just get it out. Underrated. On time. Brandon Ayuk been balling. Yeah, Chris McCaffrey still Chris McCaffrey. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Damn. They haven't even woke up Debo yet, for real. You know, they still got Debo in the cage. Like, yeah. hey, my fantasy team, my fantasy team agrees with you absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, Jalen Hurts. I'm gonna be real about Jalen though. I'm gonna be real about Jalen. He ain't been playing that well. But I really just basing it off what he did last. I, I feel like he's going to play better as the season go on. It, a lot of your Jalen Hurts evaluation is one we have to have two quarterbacks in the NFC in here because, like, dog, that don't make no sense to have all eight of these dudes be in one conference. But it might be. And two, off GP alone, and they 4-0, right? Like, they 4-0, yeah. and all, 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 all off, off gangs of respect, we just going to give it to Jalen Hurts. But – he ain't, he ain't been Joe Burrow where he played himself out of his GP. Like Joe oh, Burrow, no. I've never Joe Burrow had so much GP, and he has just like been like, yeah, bro, I'm, let me waste it. Like, <laughs> but I will say, Jalen, I'm a little concerned, but not very concerned. Yeah, he'll be all Number, right. He'll be all right. Number six, where's Dak? <laughs> Don't do that. Number six, CJ Stroud. Hmm. Over Dak? Absolutely. Absolutely. Over Kirk? Yes. Kirk lead the league in touchdowns. I don't care about that. I, I just <laughs> got to get the comment section of voice. <laughs> I do not care about that. CJ Stroud, number six. CJ Stroud? Oh, the my God. He had two good games. <laughs> the best quarterback in the state of Texas right now, CJ Stroud. Do with that information what you Damn. want. Damn. Damn. You're going to put him <laughs> over? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's, that's you gonna put him over Bro- You gonna put him over Quinn Ewers like that? That's nuts. <laughs> who ran? Who ran Quinn out of? Uh, who ran Quinn out of Columbus? And it wasn't supposed to be CJ. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, Quinn. Know, Quinn. If anybody know how good that man is, is Quinn Ewers. Let's just say that. Hey man. Devin Brown or Quinn Ewers. <laughs> Number five on this list. <laughs> Number oh, number five on this list, Justin. We got Justin. We're the same on that. We're the same on that. Yeah. We're the same, we're the same on this one, too. Tua, number four. Mm-hmm. The letdown was coming. Now, you're going to have to explain how you got Pat Mahomes at three. I got Pat Mahomes. Listen, man. I'm going to be real with you. Pat ain't looked like Pat so far. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real. 
bro, Pat has so much GP. So let's, much GP. Let's be honest about something, though, because you ain't being honest about something right now. When Josh Allen plays terribly, and when he plays bad. Because he ain't Pat. <laughs> he not Pat. Pat. Played- I'm not saying Pat Terrell. You asking me about why I don't treat Josh Allen and Pat Mahomes the same. That's like if somebody was like, hey, man, let's be honest about it. If somebody was trying to slander peak LeBron and like, hey, when Paul George play a bad game, we talk about Because that's Paul George. We talk about LeBron. What are we doing? Josh Allen to Paul George? We can play Josh Allen to Paul George? Come on, man. Yeah. Oh, Absolutely. Absolutely. We can be honest with Pat okay. playing. Okay, it's man. like if we if we be critical of Joel Embiid, but you know we not being critical of like Steph Curry. Like yeah, yeah, of course they have accomplished two levels of things in their career that are completely different. Pat, Pat ain't playing like Pat right now. He Would you get there? T- I know he'll get there. You so How we gonna get there? What we doing? What we doing? You like know he gonna be better. You know, you know. We- would you rather have Pat of or Josh Allen right next week? What kind of question? What kind of question is that, man? <laughs> you know the answer. You know to the that. answer to that. Well, I, so the no, I see at three. Because <laughs> okay. guess what? Josh Allen playing better than him right now. That's why he had three. <laughs> but you not, we not good enough to be. We'll be week. like, hey, if I got if I got to play the 49ers next week, I, I don't. I want Josh over Pat. Ain't a bone in your body think that. <laughs> not a bone in your body, not a not a not an electron in your brain thinks this. But you still hey, gonna be like, you know what? Pat three. Pat three. <laughs> hey, Pat three that's right crazy. Now. That's Josh, crazy. Josh Josh playing better right now, so I'm gonna give Josh his credit. We got Josh. This is Allen why too. this is why Michael Jordan is the way he is because he had to hear this shit about Carl below. Okay, okay, like, I w- I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that. They gave Carl the MVP twice. Like, hey, hey I wasn't a part of the day. I wasn't a part of the day. Yeah, but you using it. Hey, Carl's playing better basketball right now than MJ. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't been a whole season. It he just don't season. look like MJ. Like, ah, I don't know. It ain't I, been a whole season yet. It ain't it been a whole season, but there's no... Pat Mahomes has to lose his spot, in my opinion, before before anybody that's, can take that's it. That's your opinion. That's your mm. opinion. We talk about mm. my list right now. We talk about my list right now. My list got Josh Allen at number two. Mm-mm. <laughs> 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 Don't make no sense. <laughs> well, got Josh Allen at number two. Well, you know Josh Allen at number two one? is not a problem. You know what I mean? Lamar Jackson being at two ain't a problem. <laughs> like, who, you ain't the like, I put this the word? man seventh. <laughs> you, <laughs> where you put Dak? <laughs> Where's Kirk Cousins? <laughs> While they Cole's still f- hating on Baker Mayfield. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. That is perfectly fine. Where's Josh number Jobs? One. I heard he wouldn't change the game on Sunday. <laughs> like, and I, I have definitely moved Josh Dobbs into my top 26 for sure. Definitely moved Josh Dobbs. He, he like a solid 23 right now. Yeah. We, we, we was disrespecting Josh for real. We was disrespecting Josh for real. We was. We, was. we weren't disrespecting Josh. We were just commenting on what you probably should expect from Josh uh, Dobbs. Like, like there's no boy. If somebody would have came, you know, Josh Dobbs going to be like, like, look, tell you Josh Dobbs' stats in the first four weeks. There's no way you would have thought that was a reasonable person. You'd be like, are you related to him? Because that's don't make no sense. Okay. Hey, he, he been, he been doing a lot more than I thought he could. A lot more than I thought he could. Can't Shout out to him. Hey, man, Shout it's crazy Josh. that quarterback play got better, even though Josh Oz there, the second Cliff Kingsbury leaves. It's almost like he's not good with quarterbacks, but you know, that's a whole nother agenda for another day. <laughs> that's a whole nother video we have. That's a whole uh-huh. other video we have to do. I'm just saying, you know, I mean, Num- Cliff Kingsbury. Number one on my list so far, Lamar Jackson. Mm. Second MVP on the way. Mm. Second MVP on the way. Think so. I think it's. I think he's gonna do it. I think he's gonna do it. He he balling, man. He balling right now. Lamar's Lamar is like a really good player. I want to put that out there. I think Lamar's an elite quarterback. He's also streaky. So like Lamar will give you like a hot four and a smacking ass three, and that's the thing that kind of takes you out of the MVP race. 
is like when you like it like maybe he's gotten his ass games out the way, but Lamar's gonna give you some games where he drops pure ass for like two weeks. And that's usually enough to get you out of there. Like either he's playing hurt or something's going on. But like Lamar's good for like them two games where he just four interceptions versus the Browns. Like mm-hmm. he, he's good for one of them. You know what I mean? And that's the kind of game that gets you out of the MVP talk. So I think it's going to be hard for him to get it since it's a narrative award. But I do think he'll be in the, he'll, he'll be in contention depending to be on. Fair, to be fair to Lamar, the quarterbacks that I think he, that would be his competition for the award, they've already had those games. Yeah, you but see, if you have them early, it don't matter as much as when you have them late. Mm, I don't. I don't think he's gonna if, have a bad one. If Pat like Mahomes plays already played his best football, and then he started looking like Pat, which he will for the rest of the year, then it's gonna be easier to be like, "Yo, Pat's the MVP." It's it's all about timing for real. And with Lamar, I'm like, you just gotta watch out. Whenever he drops that two pack, like he's gonna drop a two pack. Whenever he drops it, if it comes at an inopportune time versus like a bad opponent. And people are always looking for an outlet to to not give him credit. So they're just going to run out on that. Man, I believe in you, Lamar. Just stop doing that. Just stop doing what you're doing to the Browns, please. Please. My mental health can't take it no more. Why you had to bring that up? <laughs> Browns kill. Hey, no. People on people on Twitter were saying, like, he doesn't really kill the Browns that much. Like, look at his stat lines the last two times. I was like, bro, he finds a way to make sure they beat us. Every single time he plays us. I cannot remember the last time the Cleveland Browns beat the Ravens when Lamar was actually playing. Might have been They did it Heath. in 2021. That did second we? game. Yeah, they did it in 2021. Did did he play? Yeah, he played. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna have to go back and look at that one. And I we didn't like, do it his rookie year because we lost his rookie year to when that was the last game of the year. 2019, I think we beat him uh once in 2019. His rookie year, we beat the Ravens, but that was Joe Flacco. It wasn't Joe Lamar yeah. Jackson yet. And then 2019, we beat them week three. Remember, the Browns went to two and two. We sent the Ravens to two and two. And Raven fans was freaking out. Browns fans thought we was going to the Super Bowl, and it kind of ended up going the opposite way. Um, 2020, didn't beat Lamar. I think you did beat the Ravens, but it was without Lamar. Or well, I think you might have beaten them in 2020. I'm not 100% no. sure. No, they lost both those games because the first. Oh game, yeah, they did get game, swept. I remember that. Yeah, they got swept. The first game the we got blown game. out. The second game was a was a national TV game, and it was actually really close. That Lamar was the Pookie game. That was that the Pookie? Game. That was the Dookie. That was, that was the Dookie game. Scoot. That was yep. the Dookie Scoot. Yeah. Dookie Scoot. Yep. I think, damn, that was tough. And then 2021, I think they won the next game, but I'm not 100 percent sure if Lamar played that because I think Lamar got injured in that four. No, Lamar got injured in that game that the Browns won. Mm-hmm. Because that's when they were like, JOK is a dirty player because he just tackled Lamar Jackson. And in 2022, uh, we didn't play Lamar. We didn't beat Lamar in 2022. So, yeah, two times. Well, technically two times. Really one in one quarter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. Lamar, please stop killing us. I mean, like, he do it to everybody, though. Like, it. it... <laughs> I feel like he like, doesn't. I guess, when I guess are we going to stop acting like Lamar Jackson isn't really, really good at quarterback, though? That's the thing. Oh, I don't act like that. I know. No, Lamar not Jackson you. But every time Lamar plays well, people are like, oh, you let Lamar score. Like, Lamar, Lamar, it's Lamar. Yes, he's going. He, he, he's going he's gonna to do some damage. He's Lamar Jackson. Like, that does not mean you need to fire everybody on your defensive staff because Lamar Jackson had a good game. Uh, and honestly, it was aided. But shout out to him. It was He'll get there. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it DCR gave him two of them, though. Like, yeah, I was like, like, DCR definitely helped him out a couple times. He definitely gave him one. Okay. <laughs> like, oh, man. Had that man on the 10, I was like, oh, yeah, they're giving up points for sure. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, log, that ain't, that ain't Ryan Tannehill. You know what I mean? Like, that was different. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Lamar can make some throws that Ryan Tannehill can't make. Lamar can stress you. He can he can crease and stretch you, uh, but that's it for the quarterback rankings. Let me know what y'all think. <laughs>